Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog, just a bit of a, another walk and talk as they are saying. So it's so a bit of different scenery today, taking a little bit of a different route, uh, found some different kind of scenery in the background and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but today we're going to be summarizing kind of the video that I put out this morning. There was a lot of data that I kind of went through in that video. Um, obviously it was 32 minutes, so it's quite a lot to digest. And um, so I'm just kind of trying to do a bit of a summary in this video today, right? So um, as I get into it, if you find it useful, smash that like button, I do appreciate that. If you're new, subscribe and, uh, and all that kind of wonderful stuff. Do join us down in Discord if you haven't done so already. It's a great community talking crypto 24 seven. It's completely free. And I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So I do recommend checking that out. Link is in the description below. Um, so today, we are going to summarize it, right? So in this morning's video, I went through a lot of information, right? We also took a look at the news, which was really anything there of substance. Obviously we have the Fed and uh, the potential pause that's imminent, right? They were talking about interest rate hikes and maybe that's now no longer going to happen. So that's a potential pause, which could be a reason why we saw a bit of green in the market and why we might see a continuation of the green in the market, right? So there might be some money uh, coming back in if they turn the printers back on and all that kind of good stuff. So that's the first thing. From there, we then jumped into the world of on-chain data. And there's a lot of things going on when it comes to on-chain data, right? So it's not an easy thing to just kind of turn on and just try to digest very quickly or anything like that. So it was quite a lengthy video this morning on this. So what do we see inside the on-chain data? Well, we're starting to see what I've been talking about for what feels like about a year, if not longer. And that is that retail investors are slowly actually starting to sell their Bitcoin assets. Okay, and these are, you know, high net worth individuals at the moment. So 10 Bitcoin or more, pretty substantial handing, holdings. Uh, and they are starting to sell off, which means there's someone else buying, right? If there's a seller, there's gonna be a buyer. And so we're starting to see whales buy up those assets. Now you might be questioning, why on earth would they pass up the opportunity to buy at $15,000 only to buy it at like $30,000, right? It doesn't make a lot of logical sense. And that's fine. It, it doesn't make a lot of logical sense if those are the only two variables you have to the argument. However, when it comes to whale activity, we have to consider that actually they they do actually have a bit of a strategy around this. Um, if they own the assets and a significant portion of them, then they can dictate the price of that asset. We obviously see that meme circulating around quite a bit as well. Uh, it comes up more in bull markets than it does in bear markets, but it's more important during the bear market than it is the bull market. And this is essentially when the, the whale and a retail investor have the same assets, they're priced the same. The whale might discount his own assets to set it off and then in seeing that, the retail investors also sell their assets at a cheaper price. The whale then buys up those assets only to then have the whale inflate the price again. You've got no inventory as a retail investor, but the whales have all the inventory and can dictate the price of the asset. Okay, so it's an oversimplification of what goes on, but we do see from time and time, again, uh, these whale, um, participants, these institutional level investors, go in and manipulate the price action with the help of market makers, okay, which is the other part to the argument. So what we are seeing in the on-chain data is exactly this. We are seeing retail investors selling, maybe at a profit, which is great if they are, right? And um, we are seeing whale investors starting to buy up. But it's not a huge amount, okay? It's only the start of something, it's not the end of such a kind of uh, situation that's going to occur. Okay, so I do encourage you guys to check out the video this morning if you haven't done so already, uh, where we can actually see the graphs, you see the charts, you see what is actually going on, right? Because we aren't talking huge percentages in variations over the last kind of, you know, 30 days or 365 days, um, but we are seeing variations nonetheless, and they are with retail investors selling and whale investors buying, right? So interesting to keep an eye on that. We also take, uh, took a look um, at the supply and how much supply of Bitcoin is held by whale investors, which is I think 7.64 million Bitcoin is held by whale investors. So a pretty substantial amount of the supply of Bitcoin is held right at that wealthy level, right? We did take a look at, um, you know, liquidations as well this morning where we saw $33 million of liquidations for, for Bitcoin. 
Again, pretty substantial amount, but it's not the kind of amount that we have seen historically either. There's a lot more um, to be liquidated, in my opinion, in the coming months. Uh, we did see a move for uh, essentially short positions getting squeezed out of the market and getting liquidated. So we saw a sizable portion of all liquidations on Bitcoin being that of short leveraged positions, um, where long positions also got uh, liquidated, but they were not in the same kind of percentage category. So we did see that and we took a look at all of this data in that video. So it's well worth checking that video out if you haven't done so already. But to kind of summarize everything that is going on, I think there are some circumstances that are coming, right? We are looking for a Fed pivot. A Fed pivot essentially will mean the last opportunity to accumulate cryptocurrency assets, in my opinion, before the next bullish market. Now we can obviously argue until we're blue in the face around whether or not Bitcoin's bottom is in. I do believe that as time has progressed, there's a higher probability that Bitcoin's bottom has come in already. Although a retest of around $20,000, I think is a logical expe uh, expectation to have. Um, but I do see the requirement for many of the altcoins to continue to go down a little bit deeper. I don't think their bottoms have been hit just yet. And so I still expect a further downside for those. We obviously can see uh, that the Fed pivot is going to cause a move in the market to the downside. This is something that historically happens. And it happens because the Fed pivot happens at the worst possible time for financial um, investors, right? If you're looking at investing, usually a Fed pivot only happens once everyone is feeling the maximum amount of pain. There's not a lot of liquidity to throw back into the market, at least not from the retail side. Um, but the institutional level investors who have all that dry powder on the side, they do perfectly well when these Fed pivots uh, actually do materialize. We also see uh, a Bitcoin spot ETF as well on the horizon. And if we have a, a Fed pivot and then a Bitcoin spot ETF, I think that's going to be the recipe for a very, very good and successful run in the future. And I do think Bitcoin's gonna do incredibly well along with, of course, all those altcoins. In this morning's video, we also jumped into total market cap. We spoke about how total market cap is on the rise, yet if you exclude Bitcoin, it's pretty stagnant. And we can see that the Bitcoin dominance chart is showing growth as well. So a lot more money is flowing into the Bitcoin area rather than into altcoins, which is why we do see continuation to the downside with many of these altcoins as well. So we took a look at, you know, total market cap, total market cap uh, excluding um, Bitcoin. We took a look at Bitcoin dominance. And of course, we did take a look at those CME gaps as well. Again, they're still present at 20 to $21,000 and 34 to $35,000. So we know that there's still potential moves in the markets and volatility uh, to be seen and some liquidity to get extracted from the market. I don't think we're done yet. I do see that there's a requirement for a correction to the downside after the recent moves to the upside. And um, so we'll see whether or not um, the markets agree with that or not. But for the most part, my expectations are that profits are to be taken. We are going to see the market correct down. The recent buying of whale activity to me is basically them trying to prop the market up, considering that is in significantly lower volume now than there was previously. And uh, the previous bullish markets, for example, we spoke a lot about this in the video this morning as well. So it's well worth checking out if you haven't done so already but hopefully this gives you a little bit of an insight as to kind of what's contained in that video if you haven't yet checked it out and kind of where my mind is at because I do think the next bull market is coming, it is looming. Time has progressed quite nicely in this bear market and um, we do have, in my opinion, one last opportunity to get in ahead of that bull market. That's not to say you can't buy in a bull market because you absolutely can. Dollar cost averaging is a great strategy uh, in my humble opinion, but it is just that. These are my thoughts and opinions on what is going on in the crypto market. Um, and if you do have access to a financial advisor, you should probably consult them, see what they think. Um, obviously I am no financial advisor. I can only share my thoughts and opinions as I see things. So I'm gonna leave the video there though, guys. If you have found this useful and informative, smash that like button, I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications, and I'll catch you all in the next one.